Um, hello. I am Jordan Madden. I'm a policy intern with IDRA. Um, and I'm, you know, asking for your support. Is everyone else here for 284 and that we can keep this conversation going um, in the spring next year? Um, I grew up in DeKalb in Clayton County, attending various elementary schools, McNair Middle School and Mount Zion High School in Jonesboro, Georgia. I'm a sibling of eight children and when, you know, growing up with a large family it was fun and exciting. It was often challenging. We often endure rough times, foster care, homelessness, unstable housing, and lack of resources to thrive in school. Fortunately, I attended public schools that were supported by the community, which helped push my education further. I was given uh, school resources during back to school events uh, with the community and received uniforms from local churches and nonprofits. We were not always fortunate though, and in class, we often had to endure large class sizes and lack of teachers and counselors to support students' daily needs, as well as not being able to eat a diverse and healthy breakfast before coming to school. <laughs> it sometimes often put me and my siblings behind. It is a fact that academic achievement is heavily based on the family's income level in this state. In 2021, Georgia ranked 49th, Georgia ranked 49th in performance between students who qualify for free and reduced price lunch performance versus students who did not. I would be considered one of those students. The Opportunity Wake Act is a unique chance to support students who are left behind for reasons outside of their controls. Students rely on free and reduced price lunch programs to give them the essential start to their day, which sets them up for success and gives schools the resources they need to support instruction. Lastly, this bill will ensure students receive the needed resources for classrooms like school supplies, textbooks, additional learning resources not readily available at schools who serve students living in poverty. And the facts are clear and they, a lot of the other folks mentioned the facts. Um, and I just want to mention that, you know, while I am no longer a student going through the K through 12 uh, Georgia ed education system, I think about my other siblings who are. I remember the 20 years of budget cuts to the QBE formula and reflect on why I do not want my siblings to live in a world where their school must choose between a counselor and school lunch. We indeed can have both by modernizing the Georgia QBE funding formula and providing funding for impoverished students. Thank you.